Okay. So we got here. We can gamble. Well. You suck. I didn't know they would just blow it up. Eh, whatever. 300 is not that big of a cost. Oh, injury on the spikes lights up the statues. Does it? Except for I don't have any keys. Son of a butt! Ah! I'll just buy the medium rare steak at the very least. And you know what? I'm gonna buy a bomb. That's a small cost at this point. Let's see. You know what? Considering I'm desperate, sometimes bushes have those. I've got six bombs. We could go. We could go in here. It is not being forthcoming. I don't want to waste more bombs than that. Well. Disappointed, but unsurprised. Thank you, God! Okay, there we go. I don't think they made it away with any of our dosh. Ah. I realize there's no reason. Okay, there's one down. Wow. On the plus side, that absolutely demolishes uh, the rats. Uh, it actually got me there. Wait, it died? Oh. Ah! I'm getting attacked by Rogue Boner. I'm not used to that. Found nothing. Well, it's fine. Okay. Ignore the rats for a bit. Eh. Okay. So far, so good. Oh, those those are just those are just the slimies. Uh, let's see. Let's let's go check this out. Uh, wait. Intensifier. Uh, let's see. How do I? Okay. Increases damage when killing enemies. Oh. Oh shit. Uh, let's see. Eh. How do I? How do I actually check my uh input? How do I check my journal? Is there no option for it? What? I apparently I have to turn on my controller because I don't actually have an option to open this up normally. Okay. Increases damage when killing enemies. Is that just all damage? We'll have to pay attention. Swing damage is 34, throw damage is 22. Let's see how much it takes. I'm assuming it's not that great. Enter key opens it. Ah, thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. Uh, it looks like it affects both. Slightly differently, but that's kind of incredible. I'm operating under the assumption that it can't actually be that good. So note to self, don't bust open the second rock until all the slimes are gone. Because they will get 
they will get nabbed after the fact. Also, trap. Okay. Definitely dropping a rock there. Well, that's two keys for the price of one bomb. I could have actually gotten three. Splat. Uh, you know what? Worth- Oh, no! Oop. Well, shit. Oh, no, no, no. My protein shake, shake still exists. Thank you, blessed protein shake that I have been carrying for you. Uh, for this exact purpose. I thought it got blown up and I was gonna be mad. Oh, and the intensifier gets reset when I take damage. That makes perfect sense and also sucks a bit. Uh, let's see, po protein shake or protein shank? Uh, you know what? I'll take both. I'm actually pretty hungry. <laughs> I, I've been... Uh, let's see. Oh. Again, because of, uh, because of packs, we're in... Oh, there's gold there. Ah! I was gonna try and safeguard as much as possible. Didn't actually work the way I wanted it to, but that's okay. Alright, uh, let's see. But yeah, because we're going to PAX, I don't want to, like, pick up a bunch of, uh, perishable things. And then... Let's see, float potion is... not great. Buy another bomb. I mean, it's great, it's just not that great. I've still got bonus damage. Can Bobo destroy chests? Yup, he can plow right straight through them. And it sucks. Anyway, uh, let's see. But yeah, going to a convention, I don't want to pick up a bunch of perishable food that's going to rot in my fridge while I'm gone. And it probably won't be that big of a deal, but it's still one of those where it's like I don't want to stock up too much. And so, we have food. We actually have some pretty good fajitas, but I've been trying to like just plow through whatever, like, leftovers we've got sitting around. So, like, two-week-old caramel ice cream. Eh, maybe it was three-week-old. I don't know. When I say it that way, it sounds like it went rancid, but... Oh, I don't like you. This is becoming untenable. Okay, so we got we got the We got what we needed. Which is, we killed the, uh... We killed the priestess, and now I do a shit ton of damage. Holy crap, this was a bad room. Uh, let's see. How injured am I? I'm pretty injured. What is this? Increase health, swing damage, and attack speed. Iron Branch. I will take it. Do we go shopping? Yes, let's go shopping. Okay. Uh, well, I don't get much of a choice in this one. On the plus side, I do a lot of bonus damage, so as long as I don't get hit here, I might actually be able to, like, plow through these guys.
Bomb. Okay, so the answer is... Okay, so the, the real answer is just, um, they only heal once or twice. Master's key. Okay, the key whispers to you, there's no room for false gods. That's horrifying. Okay. So yeah, the answer is I just have to not guts it, just survive. It's an endurance test. Probably worth it. I'm almost out of bombs. I guess those guys weren't actually that tough. Play ring around the gold statue. Ooh! Never mind. He can ring around it at high speeds. Back to desperate survival, which I guess is normal for us. Okay, I don't see anything else. We've got a door to go down. What if that key? It looks like that that key from the gargoyle actually is a um, is a permanent upgrade. Which is kind of neat. They have a potion. Not a healing po- It's not a healing potion. It's a strength potion. God damn it, why do I read chat? This laboratory is closed! Mas Master, I've returned with your lunch. I apologize for the wait. Oh, aren't you a slow creature, Beltrame? I sent you away yesterday. You have fallen short of my already tempered expectations, but I cannot feed on disappointment. Bring them in. Yeah, lesson number one, don't read chat. I try. I try to be a good good person and a good streamer is a bad idea, apparently. Ho ho ho! What do we have here, Beltram? What stray animal has followed you home? This is Baba, my human- This Baba my, is my human friend. He assisted me in my quest for mushrooms. No, wait. This is a different human servant. Have they all been different? Eh <laughs> no matter. I can see that Arcanos' servants wander beyond their boundaries, but you have been useful to me. Listen closely, peasant. If you or your ilk finds recipes in the mine, you can return them to me and I'll teach you the alchemy. Let my generosity be known. Human friend. Enough sulking, Beltrame, you have work to do. Human servant, if you require alchemy supplies, you can find them here. 
<laughs> you want to dabble in the al in alchemy, do you? Bring me recipes and I'll show you how to brew them into something useful. Okay. So we could brew for Salt's Blood, Spawn a Larva. It's the only thing I can do. Empty bottle, carry an extra potion. Or increase potion duration. It's nice. I think I'm going to work on the other stuff, though. Just because time. Okay, well... Honestly, let's put it into the refined counterweight. These are starting to get pricey, but that's understandable. And, well, can't buy the key. I can at least buy that. I'd like to get the gecko hand and the salt shaker, but that's going to require a lot of money. Do I do one more run? Yeah, let's keep going. Unfortunately, uh, I don't know. I am a grumple stiltskin right now. I think I'm just gonna... Oh, how did I get away from that? Uh, let's see. I think I'm just gonna keep my eyes on the game for this run. No! I say as I kept my eyes on the gold and not the freaking pit in front of it. Man! I'm just gonna set everything on fire. Whoops. These shits are just going to kill themselves. I'm just gonna be slight, uh, slight participation. Is that a sticky hand? Yeah, it, uh... Man, what was I even saying there? Ow! Oh, god damn it. Uh, what was I even saying there? Anyway, yeah, so the gecko hand lets you pick things up from, like, further away. How? Did that thing posthumously hit me? I, I think I'm actually losing my touch. I was... Add a pretty good clip until, like, the last bit. Yeah. Okay, I think I still got that bomb. Pretty sure I did. We'll see. Okay, got that. We're good. No keys, though. Which is a bit of an issue. Okay, so I can flip that. Cost of health. Well, it just fed me. Wow. What is the point of this? This just sucks. Do I get anything special for killing myself with it? And the answer is, doesn't look like it. All right, whatever, back to the hub. Let's try that again. Uh, well, I can start with two bombs. I'll go with that. Okay, but no, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna close chat for a run or two. Unfortunately, uh, I, I don't know. It's definitely throwing me off, off my game. This game's, like, not actually that easy. I mean, again, might be a me thing, but still. It's also one of those where anytime anybody straight up says my name, it, uh, Twitch pings me, which is stupid. It, you don't have to do at Wanderbot, you can just do Wanderbot, and it'll still ping me, and it's like, ah, I don't need that. At least not for this. Wait, oh! Ah, punted him out of the world. Actually, probably I just didn't do enough damage. I think if I had timed it in such a way that, uh, I think if I had timed it so everything was on fire, that might have worked, but I don't know if it was a good idea. Okay, let's see. So I have... 
I have, certainly have a lot more damage. I did earlier. Always aim for you. It really does feel like it, it tries to, like, snipe you with those. Like so. Still no keys, though. Getting to that one doesn't seem partic particularly wise. We get the float potion. That has interesting applications at the very least. Let's see, do we have anything in the walls or floors or anything like that? Yes. Oops. Because yeah, I know I miss these more often. Well, no, I get most of them. I miss them sometimes, especially if I have something else to look at, like this shit. Uh, well, I got a bomb for it. I'm gonna bomb that out and just jump the spikes. Oh wait, what was the point of that? I don't even have a key. Cause this one, this one's legit locked. And without a key, I can't get to it. That first level key is just crucial and they do not give it to you. That, that is very Isaac-ish now that I'm thinking about it. Cause I, I think Isaac always had about the same issue. Oh, there was another Secret up here that I could have grabbed instead of squandering it. Nah. Oh well. But yeah, I know in Isaac, you almost always. Oh, you know, Isaac would start with the bomb, and I almost always played specifically as Isaac. I think was it Kane that would start with the uh, with the key. I liked Kane more in Binding of Isaac uh, classic as opposed to... Can I get out of that without taking damage? I have no idea. What the... Ah. Last rat. Okay. Anything else? But, uh, yeah, I liked Kane in the first one because the, the changes to how luck works from one game to the next. Like, you could absolutely abuse Kane. In the original Binding of Isaac. And mostly it was just like, hey, here's an arcade. Wow, I thought I was at a range for that. My hitbox really is actually pretty tremendous. Um... And there's our key. But I don't want to go to the shop. I could buy another key, maybe, if I was lucky. But only if I'm lucky. Uh... There we go. What am I thinking? But yeah. Uh... You could absolutely abuse it. Yeah, abuse arcades for, like, whole bunches of stuff as Kane. I think you could kind of still do the same thing in, in Rebirth, Afterbirth, Afterbirth, plus blah blah blah. Uh, but it it wasn't nearly as powerful, at least not immediately. Oh, good. I almost set myself on fire. Again. It is a common problem. Right, let's see. The other thing I ended up running into with uh, Isaac, especially for Rebirth... Uh, well, you know what? At this point, I can spare a bomb. Perfect. Let's see. The... The absolutely massive... Whiplash increases throw damage. It's good. Nope! Nope! Damn it! I turned around at the last second and completely squandered... and whatever. Yeah, I think I'm gonna... I think I'm probably gonna switch games after this. I have totally lost my touch. I can do all right, for sure. But it is definitively... Eh. 
is definitively... Oh, no. This is gonna be... This is gonna be mean. Wait, what the... Oh! Wow! That lightning effect is insanely helpful. Unfortunately, it's about to run out, so not much point to it. Yeah, I'm just trying to... I'm just trying to... charge bash things, and it's... It's working, kind of. I was really hoping we could avoid more lurkers. They're not terrible, they're just unfun comparatively. Well, at least we're damn wealthy at the end of this. Anything else? I guess I'm gonna... Wow, that range difference really... Really is actually pretty impressive. Uh... Honestly, historically, this has never paid out. It pays in skulls, but it certainly doesn't pay anyth in anything worthwhile considering the heart cost. We have no keys, we have no bombs on account of absolute squanderage. What the? That didn't even make sense. It should not be able to just spawn in there. Okay, good. Key. We could try shopping, but I'm gonna keep going for chess. I mean, honestly... Well, Iron Branch is good. I still hope we can get some more, like, shot modifier items along the way here. Oh, money on the wall. Like... We have Ricochet, but it would be kind of nice if we could have, like, Homing, Ricochet, or... I mean, honestly, if we could keep that Chain Lightning ability as a permanent effect, that'd be insane. A little bit overpowered, but, eh, whatever. What else would be kind of useful or, or decently powerful? I guess mainly... <sighs> we'll just have to see what the game gives us, because currently I haven't seen a whole lot of interesting synergies between equipment, but I think that's mostly just because I, I'm not living long enough. Eventually I'll be tough enough and experienced enough that I can just roll through most things. Maybe, but... I do have this problem with the uh, number of roguelikes specifically. That... Uh, historically, like, you have to put a fair bit of effort into, say, Nuclear Throne to actually be good at it. And you have to play it pretty consistently, otherwise you end up getting pretty rusty pretty quick. And, I mean, I'm no sleep cycles. Nope. Let's see, I'm, I'm no sleep cycles for Kakujo. I can't just load that game up and be amazing at it. I was honestly just never very good at Nuclear Throne. It was far too easy for me to just get random stomped by something. And it was honestly quite unfortunate. Let's see. But yeah, that, that was a roguelike that you really had to practice at. Isaac was... Oh, I just walked past it slightly. Uh, but Isaac was one of those roguelikes where... Yeah, I could just I could just load the game up. I, I could load it up even now and probably do fine unless I had to fight the Hush. Hush was usually kind of the point where I said, uh, Maybe I can't do this. He was okay. And I know they added that, that new thing. Uh, for the life of me, I can't remember the name of it, but... Got the ham shank and another bomb. 
I'd get the impish key bomb, but it's very expensive and I don't want to deal with it. Uh, but for the most part, like the difficulty curve on Isaac was get used to it, get used to the controls, get used to the idea of roguelikes and learn what most of the items do. And then you're like, okay, sure, I can beat this. Maybe not nine times out of ten, but I have a decent chance at it. I think this will probably be one of those that I'll remain pretty good at it throughout. Increase health. I'll take it. But there is always that, like, mild fear when playing roguelikes of, like, yeah, I could put this down for, like, a week uh, because I have other games that I need to play. And then come back and I just might not be able to keep up with it. Easy example of that is, I still want to go back and finish Sekiro, but like, good lord. That game was tough to begin with. And then I got... I went away for a week, and then I got really, really sick for a week and a half. And it's just like, well, this this series is doomed to hiatus forever until I either, like, load it up, start cheating, or who knows what. That's why I like multiplayer when it comes to, like, really tough games, because then I'm working with somebody else, and it almost always ends up being easier as a result of having, uh... Nope. That's it. Okay, there we go. No poison pots. Okay, we're getting a little bit more thorium now that now that we're down on this floor. <sighs> Yeah, that ricochet is paying dividends. I do wish I had that thing uh, that increased my damage on a per level basis. That was nice. That is totally taken from Isaac. I love it. Okay, what do we got down here? Oh. Well, we found a key ring, which is nice. You know what? I know exactly what's down here. We're gonna piss some people off by doing this, aren't we? Boop. <laughs> Thank you, kind soul. I've been held here for <coughs> longer than I can remember. I've been granted pardon. Is it true I can <coughs> return to my duties? Are we sure this peasant has authority over the prisoner's release? Um, well, he does have the key. My child, I'll return to Arkanos. He and I have some <laughs> matters to discuss. I'll see you again up top. Thank you again for freeing me. Bathcat, darling. Would you do me the favor of teleporting me to Arkanos's chamber? Um, yes, ma'am. One moment, man. You just do anything you're told, don't you? Well, I don't get paid enough to stand around and guard an empty dungeon cell. I certainly don't get paid enough to stand around with you any longer than I have to. I'm out of here. I just hope the king doesn't have my head for this. <laughs> hey. Hey, sir, wait for me, sir. We found nothing. Okay, cool. So we found a use for that key, which probably means those gargoyles aren't going to show back up again. I love the fact that even if it's small and, you know, inch by inch, I am actually making progress in this game. Mostly I'm just upgrading my, sh my shit and, uh, you know, slowly progressing on some of the systems. I mean, I'm certainly doing better than, than I did last time. Get out of here, Skeleton Man. No one wants your boner anymore. Okay. So we're done with that, which means that probably won't even show up anymore. we got a secret, which is nice. And I have a key ring, so I can get into that uh, chest room. All of these seem like terrible ideas. Well, the strength serum is kind of nice, but it killed me last run. Okay, so let's go this way. Let's see if we get anything cool. Oh, set enemies on fire with your attacks. They'll take it. I don't know, I don't remember if that counted for, uh, melee or melee and ranged. Uh, let me check it. Check it. On hit. Alright. 
Though, of course, that's probably still going to do me over a little bit. Uh, I don't think... I don't think that's wise. Get out of here, pilfer. Oh, no. Okay. So I cannot throw my my bouncing pickaxe in that room. That sucks. Cause that that could have gone real badly. Okay, we're getting loads of dosh. Let's see, everything is safe, quote unquote. Okay, what do we got here? Key ring, which would be nice. Medium rare steak, obviously. We'll grab the key ring. I don't know about freeloaders draught, just because it's definitely not free. It might actually be a good item, but. What the? Burn you slob. I don't even, that's not even an insult. I don't even know what I'm trying to say. I guess it's slime and slob. Because he's just chucking his pudding all over the place and his pudding is dangerous. I was hoping I could co collect the key with my pickaxe. Answer is a definitive no. Okay. Yeah, we could, we could grab the Freeloader's Potion and see what it does. <sighs> just don't know if it's worth it. Because I want to I want to save as much money as I can, and that's really expensive. Eh. Yeah. I'm back here with my money. Uh, let's see. So we're... I think we're finally down to Dungeon 2. I don't think I've made it down to Dungeon 2 before. Okay. Ow! I thought I was out of range. Man, these guys hurt. Oh, and a ball. Anything else in this room? Yeah, we've got a little bit of money up top, so I should probably grab that. Oop. Everything else looking good? Yeah. No! Into the pit I went. Into the pit, it hurt. Okay. We. Okay. Nope, that's out of range. Unfortunate. I noticed this game has a handful of like little little bits where it just stops just for a second I'm always curious why cuz it doesn't seem like it's a performance problem it could straight up be my computer i guess i didn't restart my computer before i started streaming so i'm probably going to chalk it up to that more than anything else okay ooh what is this bombs explode in a shower of fire that seems like a terrible idea i'm grabbing it also, that does actually get you one more bomb. That's nice. I appreciate that. Ow! What? Oh, it's that thing. God, 
I wasn't even paying attention. Well, I'm up to 13, 1300. If I'd gotten a little bit further, if I had focus fired this guy, I think it would have been fine. Oh, so I get to keep what? 65% of my money? That's not bad. Okay. But yeah, a little bit more and we'll be able to grab this gold bag. This gold bag is going to be amazing once I fully max it out. Let's see. Let's grab the studded gloves. And the stone axe. It seems like you can upgrade these pretty consistently, too. I do wish there were a couple of perks that uh, branched a little bit so you could decide, oh, well, maybe I should have saved some of that money for keys. Oh, well, you know what? Doesn't matter that much. Uh, let's see. So since since the canary survives every round, does that make it the main character? Oh, absolutely. Baron Man is just just his, his, his disposable thrall. It's the bird's money. He just he just convinced Baron Man to carry it around for him because because it's so cute. It's so immortal. It's so dastardly. I love it. <laughs>